Charlotte area newlywed said I do and then went off on the honeymoon of their dreams only to find out they can't get back. They said that their flight home was canceled as they were driving to the airport. So now they are stuck in St. Lucia, unprepared to be there long term and struggling for basics under a lockdown. They spoke to Channel 9's Deshaun Brown. They told her they want to come back so they can help. The two of them left from Charlotte Douglas on March 22nd and even cut their honeymoon short just to make sure they could get back. This is the moment where one couple's dream turned to near disaster. The two had just left for a shortened honeymoon to St. Lucia in the early days of a global pandemic, but says they left assured they could still get home. I knew it was a risk, but American also still confirmed with us face to face at the gate in Charlotte and face to face at the gate in Miami that if there's a last flight off, they will let us know. Instead, the Cornelius couple says their departing flight on March 27th was canceled on their way to the airport within four hours of their departure. The two haven't been able to get another flight home since. And I know that there are people saying, well, you should have really never gone to St. Lucia in the first place. But for me, this was my dream. My wedding didn't, wasn't able to, you know, be my dream wedding. For me, I had to see her cry enough from her wedding being completely, her dream wedding being done. Since landing, the two have been under strict lockdown orders in St. Lucia, also from COVID-19. Everybody's, as you could imagine, said, oh, you're, everybody wants to be stuck in paradise. It's not any fun, especially right now with no grocery stores open. I'm a nurse, so I really just want to get back home and I want to get to my city and I want to be able to jump in and I want to be able to help my coworkers who I know are working 24 hours a day trying to beat this. I am still working to get more information from the State Department on resources that can help them. But here's what we heard from American Airlines, who said that the restrictions outside of the U.S. happened very suddenly, and that has impacted how they operate outside of the country. Back to you. Thank you, Deshaun. Actually, up to 25,000 Americans are like that couple dealing with this while stranded in a foreign country. The State Department says they're trying to reach them but because of limited communication. Uh, private companies and nonprofits are trying to help out, but as you heard, flight changes are making it difficult.